Hey everyone, welcome back to another week of the Dirty O IDP Throwdown. I'm your host as usual, Axton Harding, co-hosted like every week with Jake Cole, Jake Colehagen. You can find him at Late Round DB on Twitter. You can find myself at Harding underscore three. And we're here to give you our week 16 picks for the Dirty O IDP Throwdown. So I'll just go ahead and hand it off to Jake to start us off on the IDP side. What do you got for us? All right, we're kicking it off with defensive tackle Jonathan Allen of the Washington Commanders. Uh, gets what looks to be a very, very plus matchup against a weak New York Jets interior offensive line. Uh, is showing out with a very respectable 9.13% pressure rate, uh, which is a great for, for defensive interior and pass rush situations. Um, he's also seventh among all defensive interior defenders with a win rate of 15.5%. So uh, he's he's strong across the board for us, for us this week, so you got to be firing him up. Uh, on the edge, we got Boye Mafe of the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, he's got a 12.57% pressure rate, which is good for uh, for edge rushers, um, and a very solid 13.8% win rate. So he's, he's doing his own work to get into the backfield and make some plays. Uh, Titans, though, are a very plus matchup for him as well this week, uh, especially with Will Levis, who has been uh, looking to extend plays with his legs, as well as just hold on to the ball, and that longer time to throw is always great when we're streaming for that sack, which we can do this week with Boye Mafe. Uh, linebacker, we got Devin Lloyd of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, he's got 32 tackles in just run defense alone over the fast, last five games with only two missed and 54 total. Um, just piling up the tackles for us. Um, taking on a surging offense in the Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield, surprisingly. Um, and you look at Rashad White and, and who he'd match up against in the run game. Rashad White's had 66 carries and nine targets over the last three games. A very solid matchup for him to continue his tackle dominance. Uh, and lastly, at the defensive back, we got Traverius Ward of the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, this isn't just recency bias from his two interception game this last week. Um, he's averaging seven targets faced a game uh, over the last five games. And over that same span, nine pass breakups and 20 tackles. Um, he is just making plays. And with the Ravens showing a penchant to drop back and throw the ball more this year and losing Keaton Mitchell as well, I think we're in, in for a positive passing matchup for the for Charverius Ward and the San Francisco 49ers. I got my work cut out for me on the offensive side this week. So I'll go ahead and kick it off. Uh, and I'm, I, too, am targeting the uh, Tampa Bay-Jacksonville game. And I'll start it off with the quarterback position. Uh, I'm looking at Baker Mayfield this week. Uh, against the quarterback, the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars have been third in total fantasy points allowed. Uh, they've been fifth in passing yards per game at 271 and their seventh in touchdowns allowed to the quarterback position at 1.6 and uh, for baker we're just looking to beat a 237 yard and 1.7 touchdown average so we're gonna have to get a couple of them this week to to get our point but i think this would be a good matchup for baker uh at running back aaron jones against the carolina panthers uh, arguably one of the most generous defenses to the running back position this year they're fourth in total fantasy points allowed to the running back position and they allow over 105 yards per game to the position as well as a modest 1.2 touchdowns per game on average and jones is just looking to beat 37 rushing yards and or 23 receiving yards and uh now that he's finally seeming to get healthy i think this would be a great opportunity for him to finally pick up and, and get some momentum for the rest of the season at wide receiver uh we're kind of stacking up uh with baker mayfield in the tampa bay jacksonville game and i'm going with mike evans against the jaguars uh, against the wide receiver position the uh, jaguars have allowed the 11th most fantasy points per game their 10th in yards allowed per game and sixth in touchdowns allowed per game so it's a pretty mid matchup for the position, but I feel confident in Baker Mayfield and Mike Evans chemistry, given that there's only been a select few games that Mike hasn't really found the end zone. So uh, he's still averaging less than a touchdown a game, and we're just trying to beat 77 yards and 0.8 touchdowns. So if we can find the end zone, that'd be a good point for us. And at tight end, I'm going with a hot hand here, also in a plus, plus matchup, and that's Hunter Henry for the New England Patriots going up against the Denver Broncos, who have been – I would say by far, but uh, the Bengals are up there with them. Those two have been by far the, the most generous to the tight end position this year in terms of defenses and allowing points to tight ends. Uh, the Den Denver Broncos just passed the Cincinnati Bengals, I believe, this last week to be the number one uh, team in allowing fantasy points to tight ends. They, ever, they allow an average of 68 yards per game and the most touchdowns on average to the position. So 
I think Hunter Henry is in a great position to beat his 30 yard average. And I believe he's got three touchdowns in the last two weeks. So expect him to uh, keep going with the momentum he's got. And for Bailey Zappi to find him in the end zone is pretty well what I'm hoping for this week. So uh, that'll do it for our week 16 picks. We'll see everybody back here again next week for our week 17 picks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching this IDP guys video. If you like this content and you want more fantasy football content, click here. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos to help you master your IDP league, click here to subscribe.